By far, my favorite part of the branding exercise is the proof of concept. And proof of concept is taking that chosen direction of where we were going with the, the logo and the mark and really expounding the, the creative process and the, and the branding identity through all the collateral that's going to be used to the company that tells the story of who the company is, even though it might just be like a preliminary look into the what the actual elements might be. Um, it is a really incredible stage to hear what the company sounds like, um, to play around with copy a little bit, to uh, see how the logos work in real space, to, to use preliminary investigation of colors. A uh, really, really great way to showcase how, how that branding is going to live in, in the real world. We moved on to showcase uh, business collateral. So for Hollison, we knew that the team there liked the burst and we, we were recommending them and and so one of the first things that we wanted to do proof of concept was see how these two logos and marks and directions can uh, live together. They probably don't work when you combine them, So, uh, but the burst, because it was so abstract, works really well as a, as a branding element, and the pan as the mark, as the mark of the company. When we saw this initial business card, we both said, Eureka, this is it. It works perfectly together. Let's start to use it. Business cards are, are kind of the final frontier of printed materials because uh, there's so many more people doing digital these days uh, that we like to spend a little extra time in considering and thinking about how the business cards are going to be impactful for the company. For Hallison, it was this moment uh, when around the table, the creative team said, um, well, why not sandpaper? Yeah, because they're a sand company. So we flirted around with uh, different sandpaper ideas. Uh, we pitched it to Hallison and they said, yeah, this is amazing. Um, if, you can, if you guys can do it for cheap. We are now experts in, in sandpaper and the different grits that it takes and, and you know what's uh, capable to print on, etc. Finally found a vendor that was willing to silk screen on, on sandpaper and we got these printed. They look fantastic. Um, it's one of those key pieces that Hallison still uses today as an amazing differentiator for them. Uh, it's a conversation starter for their, their new clients and their existing clients. Uh, they love it and uh, we had a blast bringing this to life. Of course, we, we show different printed elements like hats and shirts and even you know bus signage. Will they ever run a bus campaign? Probably not, but it's just really nice to see their logo working in, in the real world. Uh, so we, we love showing that off, but my favorite place to showcase a brand identity study is through magazine advertisements. And there's a few different reasons. We get to play around with copy and hear what the company sounds like for the first time. We get to see how images work in conjunction with the, the marks. Ads for us should really showcase that we, we get the company and we have vision for how the story is going to be told through all their customers and whoever interacts and comes in contact with this company. For Hallison, we wanted the voice to sound uh, a little bit more sophisticated, so not Arnold Schwarzenegger or Sylvester Stallone, but it probably is more like Ryan Gosling or uh, Brad Pitt and George Clooney. So it still is very masculine and um, manly feeling, but it's it's not uh, it's not caveman type. The copy we wanted to, to play with had to be cheeky, bold, it had to be uh, very stern, um, but it wasn't ever, you know, it wasn't ever aggressive or in your face. Um, and uh, one of the biggest challenges that we had for developing ad copy for Hallson uh, was, for, was for golf courses, because, you know, if you play golf, you know that the sand pit, the bunker, isn't the place that you want to be. So how do you sell sand to golf players who know that sand is kind of the devil when it comes to golf. And here's what we came up with. Golf will be boring without us. You know, we've been making things interesting since 1953. Another tagline for the same ad that we were thinking was, uh, sorry, Tiger, maybe next time uh, to the other 290 golfers in the PGA Tour, you're welcome. Yeah, playing around with the idea that, uh, you know, sand is a pivotal part of the game. It's what makes it challenging, it's what makes it fun. Golf will be boring without us. That's Halston. And Halston does provide hundreds of golf courses with the exact bunker sand media that they need for a beautiful golf game. Uh, but they also provide sand for Gillette Stadium and Fenway Park, uh, some of the most reputable teams here in New England. 
so for the Patriots, we, we thought it'd be interesting to, to promote. We help the Patriots stand tall, literally. It's the foundation of this championship team, per se. This one's one of my favorites. We work hard so that when you turn your faucet, you can trust what comes out. That's Halston Sand. That's what we're all about. That is the care, attention, and the passion that we bring to this seemingly mundane product. I think this ad kind of sums it all up um, for, for the brand. And, and the type treatment here is really important. We're using a condensed Helvetica and that stern, harsh type, but clean type uh, is kind of overmarked in this beautiful, luxurious image of, of water turning from a faucet. And it looks beautiful, um, but it, it sounds incredibly dramatic and impactful, which is exactly what we want for Halston. And this ad is great, because um, it's true. You can't FedEx 15 tons of sand. Halston Logistics is their, is their shipping company that delivers tons of sand every day. And already from these ads, you immediately get the sense that this company has been around forever, um, that they are a major competitor, just the way, but by the way that they sound and the way that they look, uh, it looks really polished and buttoned up. Since the branding exploratory, we've got to do some incredible work for them. Of course, uh, rehashing their website from this really bland old site to this fun, dynamic, uh, large-scale site, um, getting to write you know, interesting copy like we've been waiting millions of years to bring you an amazing product. So again, has that kind of boldness and, and, the, and a bit of the cheekiness, but still very solid feeling and has a bit of an attitude, but definitely not in your face. It's not, it's not aggressive or um, obtrusive, but it feels firm and it feels like they know what they're talking about. We've got to do some print advertising in the trade magazines and some banner advertising for festivals and this large-scale banner that uh, they hang over one of their main silos on premise. And the story really solidifies when you watch their video, which we had the privilege of doing for them. Uh, not only their overview video, but also for customer testimonials. We got to visit their actual customers who use their sand on a daily basis. We got to see this process that those customers go through in um, taking this high quality product and putting it to real world application and use. We started offering video as one of our core services because we, we believe that it's one of the best ways that you can tell this creative story to an audience uh, and showcase what that product or service is all about in such a short amount of time. And we've been seeing such incredible successes from it, uh, from not just Halston and, and medium-sized companies like them, but also from uh, startups, videos that we've done for Endera, uh, for promotional videos that we've done, trade show videos, and videos like this one showcases the entire process to an audience who's hungry to hear uh, how exactly uh, creative processes unfold.